Well, that great funky playing is from the Haas sisters of the USA, who were international guests at Crisfest in 2023. And it introduces this new podcast, which is called Crisfest World. Welcome. Crisfest is a folk and roots music festival which takes place at the start of April every year in Creswick near Ballarat in country Victoria. My name is Neil Adam. And when Judy and I first started the thinking and the planning for Cresfest in the COVID years, during that time we met and talked with so many fascinating people, local and not so local. We had great conversations to do with music and community and the places and the ways that they intersect. Today's conversation is with Paddy Caulfield. Paddy's in his late 70s and he lives at Napoleon's on the other side of Ballarat. I first met him when I was looking for someone to share the singing with me in a show about local Creswick singer Simi MacDonald, about whom more in another podcast. So Paddy is a man with maybe 200 songs in his head, songs which come from his upbringing on a farm in County Monaghan in the north of the Republic of Ireland. Monaghan is a place where for centuries battles large and small between local populations and the British invaders were commonplace right up until Irish independence in 1923, and of course beyond that time as the troubles continued in the north through the 20th century. Paddy's songs are rooted in history. He's a tradition bearer in the true sense of the word, in a tradition that spreads back across the centuries to Homer's Iliad and Odyssey and beyond. Personal, family, community and national history is passed on in the words of songs. Paddy told me one day that he'd never heard his own voice recorded, and I thought, well, I can do something about that. So not long after, he came to Newlyn, and we recorded him singing and talking. Originally, we were thinking how great it would be for his families and friends to hear him, but at the end of the day, his singing was so moving and so true, and to tell you the truth, so in tune with our old piano, uh, that I added on piano and guitar parts. When you hear Paddy talk, as you will, In a moment, you'll realise that not only is his music rooted in history, but also that there's an immediate relevance that he sees for modern-day Australia. So without further ado, let's listen to Paddy introducing and then singing a song from his family's heritage. Anyhow, well, uh, this is uh, um, um, the stately woods of Thruscon, and this is the area where I'm from. I hope I sing this now quite well, because this is one of my favourites. Uh, you mightn't have heard it, which is, I like singing something for you that you haven't heard. <laughs> Out by the stately woods, yeah, through a McKenna right at noon. The sun was shining there a cloud, dark in the skies of June. No, I had he for nature's charm. Sure, they don't annoy his brain. Through the flower and pines, he makes his way and never draws a rein. All before him stands the tall grey tower of Glasslock Castle. Old. Where in it stands his own true love, more dear to him than gold. Where in it dwells his own true love, sure his darling young Maureen, whom he hopes one day will bless his home in the woods all through so green. I have come to say goodbye to you, for tomorrow I must go with my own true men to Benborn, going to defend own road. I've come to look you in the eye and hear your answer sweet, for if fighting in the battle fall we never more will meet 
go forth, my love, my blessings go, and smite the Saxon horns. I'll be your bride when you return, without another word. With fond embrace, they bid adieu, as the evening sun went down. Behind the trickle, he wooded hills that overlook Glasslock Town. Oh, McKenna lightly mounts his steed at the twilight of the eve and heads him over Dabla Hills from through his green shady leaves. And that night he meets his own true man on the hills of sweet Tyrone, and then the armies of the north, and likewise his fearless own. Oh, Neil, now he was pleased to see this hardy mountaineer who kept the Saxon hordes up bay for many a weary year. And well they fought at Ben Plains as the evening sun went down. And few that night escaped them to carry Fergus town. Oh, when autumn leaves lies in the woods and berries are ripe and red, McKenna on his own true love in Glasslock Church were way Oh, never in her father's hall Sure fine a bride was seen Than McMahon's lovely daughter His darling young Maureen And I think that was 1646. So that was the Battle of Benborb. And it was against uh, uh, a man called, this be Saxon, uh, uh, Monroe, Monroe. At that time, there was, um, basically that's when the chieftains and, 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 and the earls and all that all uh, ended up in the north of, were getting defeated. Yeah. And it was one of the battles that... The Irish did. This is what I talk about. It's one of the battles that the Irish did win. Yeah. The Battle of Ben Borb, and 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 uh, that was uh, uh, Own Row O'Neill was uh, uh, was uh, and he'd come back from. He was a bit of a hero in Irish history, uh, and he'd come back from. He'd been in Europe because they all were all over the place in yeah. many respects in those days, uh, in other countries fighting and this that and the other. McKenna had had his own men, and he was, as the song says, he went to Van Borm to defend Own Road. Mm. And they, they, it was a successful battle. And, uh, and, and, uh, and, and I remember reading a bit about it, that Monroe lost his wig and his sword. <laughs> and and I, uh, I, I kind of like, I had a, a kind of a humorous image of uh, some old farmer somewhere in the north of Ireland he was using Monroe's sword as a poker <laughs> in his fire, <laughs> you know, and, and and maybe the wig out in an outhouse somewhere with a hen's laying eggs in it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a wonderful image, and all, all all that stuff's true, you know, like they're true. So they're all and they're all names that are very prominent where I come from, Casablaney, because uh, is. Um is Ben Burb where the battle was? Is that yeah, very, is that that's very just, far from where you grew up? Or? No, not that far. Tyrone, just over the border. Right. You know, it wasn't a really big battle. It's just one. It's one of the ones the Irish did win. Yeah. So it's uh, that's what I say. But Ireland lost a lot of battles, and mm. there was a lot of device. And, well, I suppose every country that's been colonised has had that problem about the, being divided and fighting against each other. Yeah. It worked out great in the end. Ireland's a wonderful place now. And, yeah. and the culturally, it's just really hopping, really. And, and, and which is great. Culture survived. The truth is the truth. And yeah, it yeah. Has, the truth will come out. It has to come out. Yeah. And it is coming out by yeah. people. So, so I think I still feel like that. that, that uh, it might take a long time. Yeah. It might take a long time. And 
I think what would be a great thing to see, I've been going to them at Lake Wenderee since the start, except for the one year with the COVID, we were asked not to go, is um, Survival Day. Yes. The, the, um, Australia Day type of thing. Yes. And uh, I go to them in the morning, I go there at half five at Wenderee Lake, it's wonderful. Yes. It is just beautiful. And what would be a great thing to see is that been bigger than ever this year. Yeah. I think that would be, I think if you can see something like that happening, that's hope. And, that, and that's actually bravery, that we're not a pile of wussies. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, yeah. that, that, that's standing up with, because I, what I do is, or what I believe in, I do, do uh, well, uh, in the afternoon then is my Australia Day. Yeah. Because I think the two can be done together. What's it like? The survival day at Lake Windery. What, what what happens there? It's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen, because it's still just dark. Light, lights just, and 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 I don't know how it's like magic. There is such a wonderful silence. You can hear everything. And all the Aboriginal uh, elders, are, they're part of it, and they they get up and they talk of the different massacres, and they just lay lay them out. And people do make certain sort of speeches. One one. Beaches, and then there's, uh, she's an Aboriginal singer, Ballarat, who's just the most beautiful singer, and uh, she sings, and, and it, it's just like the most loveliest thing. In fact, I think it's the most nice thing I've ever been, went to. Judy and I must come with you next time. Oh, I do. I'll remind you. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a lovely yeah, thing to do. Yeah, 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 do. That'll be great. You'll, lo you'll love it. Mm. You'll love it. Well, thanks for listening to Paddy Caulfield and me chatting away there as the conversation moved from the stately woods of Trua in County Monaghan in the north of Ireland to Survival Day at Lake Wenderee. You can hear more of Paddy's beautiful singing by going to Spotify and simply typing in Paddy Caulfield, as in the Melbourne race course. Or you can go to neiladamjudyturner.com uh, where you'll find a page about Paddy Caulfield with links onto how to download for free the whole album you can find out all about next year's Crez Fest 2024 April 5 to 7 at the crezfest.com.au website this has been a Crez Fest World podcast hope you enjoyed it see you next time I hope and out we go with the Haas sisters <laughs>